Thank you. The Obie Award for a Lifetime Achievement yeah. is given each year to someone who, in the eyes of the judges, has best embodied over many years the spirit of Off-Broadway, a spirit of risk and challenge that does honor to our theater's long and ongoing history. So this adventurous soul may be an artist, a thinker, or a teacher. The person may change our preconceptions politically or aesthetically, may create lasting works or energize and reshape the institutions where such works are created. But our recipient this year cannot be confined to any one of those categories. She's proven her stature by her outstanding presence in all of them. For her plays, her ideas, and her profound influence on innumerable students, her staunch political presence, and her constant aesthetic daring. The judges are honored to present this year's Obie Award for Lifetime Achievement to Paula Vogel. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I've been incredibly fortunate and gifted in the last 40 years of my playwriting career and teaching career to have witnessed miracles every year. I've produced about 10 plays a year since 1984 on budgets of zero to a hundred dollars. I have seen Nilo Cruz make uh, a festival in Havana out of broken umbrellas that was magical. I've seen Dan LaFranc make a graphic novel on stage that cost nothing to produce that was brilliant. The difficulty is getting artists who can make miracles on zero to hundred dollars into institutional off-Broadway theaters where they are produced on 50 to 100 to 200,000 um, dollars. And today, again, I was fortunate to be in the room with 50 writers and watch them make miracles within an hour. So, one of the things I want to thank is I want to thank these extraordinary writers with whom I've worked for 40 years that basically have, that have told me that there is a leveling principle in our field, which is the imagination and talent and not budget alone. Um, so a shout out to these writers. Um, I think in this moment of time uh, where we are sliding backwards, and I hope we're not sliding as far backwards as the Weimar Republic. We have never needed journalists nor artists so much as this year. I want to thank Circle Rep. Uh, before I could get arrested in New York, uh, one of my students was a script reader and she brought Baltimore Waltz to Tanya Leon who said, should I read this? And <laughs> the scriptwriter said, no, it's kind of out there. You have to do a workshop. At this workshop with Ann Bogart, it was kind of phenomenal. We rehearsed it in Ann Bogart's studio apartment for approximately a week. And then we took it to Circle Rep in a tiny little room. And there were lines out the door because people had heard that this was an unusual play. I sat in the audience and behind me, was Lanford Wilson, who was a hero of mine. And Lanford Wilson said, who the fuck is this Paula Vogel and Ann Bogart? Look at these people lining up. Who the fuck are these people? And then the play began, and it was such small seating that I could feel his knees shake as he sobbed. His knees were shaking. And I turned around and said, Mr. Wilson, my name is Paula Vogel. 
And Lamford Wilson said, you're a member of Circle Repertory. Now, I owe my career not only to Circle Rep, but to the Vineyard Theater. The extraordinary Vineyard Theater works on one-tenth to one-twentieth of the budget of a lot of off-Broadway theaters. They make miracles happen on nothing. But the most important thing that they do is they are not gatekeepers to young emerging playwrights. They open up the gates through their education program. So I want to thank them. Uh, lastly, I want to thank all the artists I've worked with, the extraordinary directors I've worked with, Anne Bogart, Mark Broca, uh, Kate Wariski, Les Waters, Tina Landau, and for this lifetime achievement, working with the cast and Rebecca Tashman, David Dorfman, all of the artists, James Latis, Amanda Spooner, this is the achievement of my lifetime. And one last thing, I want to thank uh, the Obies and I want to thank, thank the American Theatre Wing for this great honor. I want to say that nothing that anyone can ever give me in this lifetime will match the honor of uh, the love I have won from my wife of 28 years. The brilliant and extraordinary Ann Fauster Sterling, I bless her and thank her for every day. Stella Adler once said, we need three things to make it in this business. The height of a rhinoceros, the tenacity of a bulldog, and a good home to come home to. Thank you, Annie. Thank you all.